hi this is Rob from Travel with Rob and Sue and we are back in Southampton after our cruise around the northern European cities and we'll be showing some of those soon but for now I want to talk food You may recall that we went on a cruise in May and we went on the Ventura and the food was pretty dire at times and we weren't very complimentary. If you want to watch our Ventura playlist you can see what we thought to that. I'm not going to repeat it all, I'm not going to show you more photos from it, it was pretty rubbish. We were a bit apprehensive that that was P&O downgrading their whole cruise experience to match the price point but I can honestly say and Sue agrees with me that the food on Iona has been back to its normal standards and we have enjoyed every meal without fail there hasn't been one meal that we've said that wasn't good enough the vegetable portions have been a bit meagre at times but apart from that the food has been sufficient in quantity it has been cooked well it's been presented a lot better that was my main problem with Ventura really was the presentation but it's been superbly presented there have been some nice menus it's a shame that they're using exactly the same celebration menu as they did on Ventura in May I've got to say and Sue said exactly the same that the meals uh, on the ordinary nights are a lot better than the meals that they do on the celebration nights so I don't know why they bother with this whole celebration menu put together by some really fantastic chef who we won't name but it's really not as good as the normal meals so I would have preferred you to stick to the normal menus to be honest or at least give people that preference maybe I know that's impractical but there you go but no I'm going to show you a few of the meals now and a few of the menus that we had and you can judge for yourself but hand on heart I can say yay back to normal because Ventura was just an absolute letdown from start to finish and it definitely would make me think don't try Ventura again and now it might be unfair because that might have just been one single blip that they were having it was that bad week when they had all the norovirus on board and maybe that was affecting the meals I don't know but that shouldn't be the case should it So there's a tip if you want a bigger serving then ask for your food separate. I like this restaurant. 
I like the Pearl. The Pearl and the Coral is the best two restaurants, I think. The little ones aren't anywhere near us now. Mm -hmm. The little ones aren't anywhere near us now. Yeah, it's quite big in area, isn't it? That's the coral upstairs. We're in the pearl downstairs. Turkey baguette. That's got to be the fastest food ever. I mean, that's like 15 seconds after we're done. It. You'd hope they were ready and waited, wouldn't you? Because you've got a very limited menu, but I say very limited, there were quite a lot on that, probably more than a dinner. Yeah. That's, um, that's a very nice burger. We ain't sure what's in there. Dilled, oh there's it, ah there you see, dilled pickle relish, so if you like dilled, or pickled dill on your burgers, this is absolutely divine, but it's a bit too much for me, but yeah, interesting, it's like that, they're hamburgers, if they are actually hamburgers, not beef burgers, they taste so, so much nicer, when they made me that. Mmm, I haven't realised you'd ordered the same. So this is the plum cobbler, which is looking quite nice. And the custard. Oh, you! Oh, sacrilege! You put your custard in the dish. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Mm. You ranking that? Nice plums. Nice plums. Don't hear that every day. <laughs> have I got nice plums? Oh yes. So I have. The positives of this ship. The positives of this ship. Fire away. As opposed to what? Oh, it's compared to Ben Johnson. Oh, you want to compare? <laughs> so compare we can talk about yeah. For me, this one's a lot airier. In all areas you go in. Okay. Well, the atrium certainly isn't it? I mean, that's huge, especially with that big glass window down the side. And this restaurant is. Dining room's quite dark, haven't it? That's the more old fashioned style, isn't it? Dark dining room. Well, having said that, this is only this restaurant. If you go into the two side restaurants, they're quite yeah, small. Yeah, we've got that choice of the insurer, haven't we? Well, no. We've got too many restaurants. You don't get a lot of choice here sometimes. But yeah, I'll give you that. This is very bright. I like this. This is my favourite restaurant. And the upstairs is Coral, which is similar. Except we've got a balcony instead of a window. Yeah. 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 Um, it's hard because this is a newer ship, so to me, all the pictures of fittings are more new, aren't they? Oh yeah. It's not dated. It's a little bit more modern. Yeah. Not dated. Well, is that a plus? It is for me. Because <coughs> I think the venture is now very dated. It was lovely when we went on it the first time. Very dated. <coughs> That's what I said, very gated. No, very dated. Oh, very dated, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no. Got to cut that bit. That's it, sit without that. <laughs> So, um, very dated but not tired. I don't think it, a lot of people complained it were really old. I didn't find Ventura to die, it was, the fittings were all okay. It weren't like the cushion covers were all worn. Oh, no, 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 it wasn't worn. No, nothing's ever worn, I know. Dated as in, yeah, a little bit more older style. But then that's an older ship, isn't it? You can't make an old ship into a new ship. I find, in some of the places on the I know are a little bit more constricted, confined, like when you're walking down the corridors to the restaurants, you've got a lot of long corridors and long, you know, with low ceilings, like through past the limelight and down there, a lot of long corridors with not much to see. You don't have the big spacious art gallery, for instance, that you, it's just a couple of pictures on a wall, the library, it's just a bookcase in one of the bars. So you don't have 
there's so many like individual rooms on the island there. Or they, they tend to blend together. And you've only got to look at the atrium for that, haven't you? You've got the Keeling Car Restaurant, the Glass House um, pub. You've got the ice cream bar, is it, on the corner? Or the, and, and they're like all in the same space. You haven't got a distinct atrium space. Downstairs is not so bad, but then you've got the Emerald Bar sat on that, which is good. It's nice to have a bar in the middle of you. Because normally, you see, the, rest, the reception on here is tucked down one of the side corridors, where on the um, on the bench or it's right in the middle of the atrium, isn't it? Yeah, but to me, the corridor one is a plus, not a negative. Because at least when you sat in the atrium, you've not got people queuing up in the. Oh yeah, yeah. Which is. You're not tripping over people yeah. waiting to see the reception. Yeah. Well, then you do. don't get to see what they're what they're doing on the reception and what people are moaning at, do you? Because they took down the back, you can't say what they're saying. That, what's <laughs> a I don't know. You see, I like the old Oceana and style where all the shops were in a big cluster, and you walk around them all, and these tend to be spread out across two corridors, and they I still find being such a big ship that there's not more on it. There's, there's, there don't seem to be as many definite spaces. When you went to on Venture and you knew you could go and sit outside down the, the side of the Tamarind Bar restaurant, there was that really long, big area that you could sit with all the plush seats. There don't seem to be as many seated. And there's certainly, I don't think, as much deck space. We're going to go and have a look in a minute, aren't we? But I'd, I don't find as many big, really large areas to like sunbathe and what have you. And there's no big outdoor pool area. There's obviously enough areas for people to sit in and you're not all sat in one space which you are like that sure. No. So does it give you a bit more peace and quiet feeling and not mm, I don't know. Same say pluses and minus. I don't think either ship's bad. The food on here has been a lot better. The food on here is exceptional. The food, the, well, the food is how I expected the food to be on Ventura. That's why I was so disappointed because I know what P&O food normally is like and Ventura is definitely under par. And all those people who said on the previous video was, oh, what are you complaining about? It looks fine to us. I've obviously haven't experienced the really nice food then on P&O because when they get it right, it's very good. But the Ventura was lacking. And I'm not on there, and a lot of other people said that. So I'm not worried about that. I think even the way it's been presented Well, it, was, it wasn't necessarily the food. There was nothing wrong with the food itself. It all tasted fine, it was all cooked fine, it was all hot. But the presentation was lacking, wasn't it? I mean, when you get, although we have a one meal done on this one, we got one piece of broccoli, and that was your veg. But when you got one carrot, or even half a carrot, you can't really call that well presented. I had the, the sirloin with the lobster, with the, with, the with the tiger prawns and the lobster juice uh, this time that we had on the Venturi and it was, that was the first meal we had we said what is this, this is awful and on here it was lovely even down to the point where we got two very thin slices of roast beef on Venturi on here you got a whole huge piece of filler so it was just a different presentation. No. Whether they were struggling because they were struck down with the old norovirus, I don't know. So we are dining tonight in the beach house for a supplement. Is it $7.95? Yeah, $7.95. Even for the little children. But they don't actually have a children's menu. So if you try and cancel that, either cancel it all, or you have to have something off the menu for the children. Or they say you can go over to the buffet and fetch that, but you still have to pay. Even if you're paying supplements on your own food, you have to pay those additional, even though you've paid seven ninety five for them and they're not bringing them any food. So what we've done is, if you're paying for it, then we've ordered it. And they have got a bowl of nachos each, which they might eat, they might not. And what did you, oh yes, we've had fajitas without any spices. And we'll see if they eat those, and if they don't, we'll have to go to the buffet and fetch some food. But it seems really, really off that you allow children into a restaurant, you charge them the, the um, 
7.95 booking fee and then they will provide any kind of children's menu at all. That's not good. Anyway, we have had Mexican, now I would say it's called poke bowl, he calls it a pokey bowl, I don't know who's right, which is a mixture of all sorts of stuff, beans, um, sweet corn salsa or no salsa, and what's that under there, rice, yeah, and we get three nachos each, but luckily there'll be some nachos coming this way no doubt. And then we have had, what did you order for? Beer can, chicken. beer can chicken, which we'll show you in a minute, and that is um, five pound supplement for, for two, not so it's not ten pound. It's five pound for the beer. Not bad. It would have been. I think it'd be nicer if it'd be warmer. Oh, my God, chilled. Everything's chilled. Mm, I think I would have preferred it warm. Where you go? Where you go? Where you go? Where you go? Oh, are they? Aren't they good to you? They brought you chicken. Oh, what? Wraps? You like wraps, don't you? Wraps. Look at them. These wraps are bigger than your blanket. Well, what they brought you? Some chicken. And, and some cucumber because you like cucumber. Oh, and wraps as well. Do you like wraps? Yeah. No. Oh. So actually, you've not done too bad, have you? I suppose. Because you've got a good staff who's going to look after you. So, this is the beer can of chicken. And I don't know where mine is. You're never going to eat all that, are you? I mean, let's face it. So, and there is the rice with a bit of beanery in it. Looks very edible, though. Very nice food. Yeah. No, you could really do a sharp knife, probably, couldn't you? Mmm, so, mm. you're okay? Very nice. Very nice. Apparently, it rubbed with jerk spices. I can't taste any, to be honest. Ready, Tastes like roast chicken to me. Oh, Nana's cheating. She's supposed to have the marshmallows. She's eating with Grandad's churros. Or Cheerios, as she calls them. You're making the right mess with that, aren't you? Can't take you anywhere. Don't you have to come out with a back of baby wipes? Just for you. Uh, Right, Alfie, are you going to tell us what you can have for your child's meal? What, what can we have for dinner? Um, what's to start? It's just to start at the top, look. So what's the first thing you could have? Um, you could have tomato soup. Yeah. Hummus with cheesy potato fingers. Yeah. Cucumber with carrot sticks. Hummus with cheesy potato fingers, cucumber and carrot sticks. That sounds healthy. You don't like that idea. I don't really like hummus. No, you don't like hummus, right. What's the next one then? Well, the next one is What's the next to it? There's another um, one. Tacos with salad and your choice of cheddar cheese or grilled chicken. Oh, right. Which so, I had um, last night and I, I didn't eat the cheese. You didn't eat the cheese, right. So, what are we fancying tonight then? Fancying tonight, I am having no starters. Okay. I am having all American cheeseburger with no lettuce um, and tomato. Uh, I'm going to have all American cheeseburger with no lettuce, yeah. tomato and ketchup. You want no tomato? Well, you want tomato. No, le no lettuce. No lettuce, but you want tomato and ketchup, yeah? So you're having an all-American um, cheeseburger, yeah? And then yeah. what else are you going to have um, with it? You can the have mini grill. I'm not having any mini grills. For the sides, I'm going to have green veggies of the day and waffle fries. Waffle fries? Yeah. Is that I'm all you need? Yeah. You want baked beans? You want some sweet corns? Uh, no. No? So you're having all-American cheeseburger, tomato and ketchup with waffle fries, yeah? So tonight, it is Halloween costume party night, isn't it? Yeah. And you haven't come dressed as anything, have you? 
I have. Oh, have you? Oh, sorry. Got, oh, of course you have. I've yeah. got dressed so as what are you then? Captain America. Is that Captain America? Yes. It's yeah. Got a broken star. Oh, got a broken star. And he's zombified. And he's what? He's zombified. And zombified. It was. Why do you buy things? Just, mm -hmm. just yes, with seeds. Right. Don't worry about it. Yeah, can you hold it all? Can you hold it all? Can you push it off for you? I don't know what's going on What did you get? Can you what? No. Can I got? Look at that. Everybody. That's three carrots. That's two carrots more than we got last time. Taco van sauce. We can stick it with wine. Okay. It's very nice. Really? It's very tasty. It's very well cooked. Also, where's my apple juice? You'll have to ask him. And this is the nicest looking pudding we've had so far. This is. Oh, did yeah, this is looking very pretty. This is a chocolate fondant with ice, salted caramel ice cream. And it's very warm inside. Look, it's all oozing out. Looks really delicious. I don't have a mouth like that. Oh, he's had the um, chicken. That looked nice, I wouldn't have that. If everyone on the table orders the same thing, then I might get one whole through. Um, I would dare to say this is the same menu. In fact, look at this. You know, the pea soup is very nice. Do what? Pea soup, but I'm going to have the pea soup because there's nothing else. I think I might yeah. be going to Midnight Buffet. <laughs> yeah, I think I might be going to Midnight Buffet. The, um, well, to be honest, when last time I went to the Midnight Buffet, it was two warm up biscuits and a cup of porridge. That's what we got. They reckon you had hot chocolate cookies. Yeah, we got hot chocolate. The cookies were the warm up cookies you get all the day. Curried corn fed chicken Kiev. I don't want the chilled aubergine. Oh, oh. Well, you know what? I'm going to go for the beef and see if it's any worse than it was last time. It's got exactly the same, the glossy lobster butter. I can actually show them side by side. I must have had It's a bit weird, don't it? The beef root brownie tart. You need drinks Your tomato soup oh, looks very that, nice. Daddy. What do you say? My pea soup looks like pea soup. Wow, Al, what you got? Spaghetti, bolognese, and waffles. Look at the size of that burger. Why are you videoing? I'm videoing it because I'm showing everybody how big the child's meal is. I think that looks very very presentable. Even though I've had the prawns, I don't like them. Even having now disposed of the prawns, I think that looks a lot better than the one I had in May. Now that's what you call presentation. That's how they're supposed to look. Jelly with, oh, that looks like Rocky Road. Like Rocky Road. Yeah. Last time Grandad had Rocky Road, he broke all his front teeth. And the road broke like that. This is lovely. What's Nana done there then? She'd ordered you everything on the child's menu so you can try everything. Ah, oh, not enough ice cream though, is it? I'm an in-house. Have you enjoyed the dinner today?
What you got? What's that? Uh -huh. Cheese taco. Nice. It's difficult to go wrong with some hot soup. What? Yeah. Some tally edible. What are you doing in Is that this cheese blue sauce. cheese sauce? Oh, I would have had that. Thank you. All right, fine, thank you. Mm. What you had this sirloin steak? And what have you had? Kids meal. What? You had a kids meal? No, this was the tacos. Oh, right. Which I may have just mixed Lily's chicken to go on it. Yeah, I thought you'd had it. No, it was the chicken. Look at your dinner. You've got the most of everybody. Chili I've got about 10 beans, but I haven't seen a carrot for love of money. Look at that. Cored apples. Very nice. I'd say that looks a damn sight more edible than that Ventura meal we had. Mm. Try and add spoon with some ketchup on it. Look at that pork steak. It's falling apart. It's lovely. <coughs> oh dear. Enjoyed my pudding so much I forgot to film it. Yeah, that's, that's what it looked like beforehand. And that's what it looks like now. So, that's the food on Iona. We've got lots more to show you. Please uh, subscribe if you like our channel. Don't forget to give us a like because it makes sure that other people get to see the video. And we've got more coming soon. So, until then, uh, stay safe, safe travels, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Now all this talk about food has made me feel a little bit hungry, so it's time to sneak a muffin before we get off. Well, uh, just had to be done, didn't it?